Soldiers and emergency crews go from house to house to make sure no one has been missed in the flood's chaos. Hello, they call out. Is there anyone there? With dozens of people still unaccounted for, the rescuers' appeals are being repeated in affected communities throughout this part of Japan. A couple of streets away, Hiroshi Ishizaki and his extended family have returned to see what they can salvage from what used to be their home. Like most of his neighbors, they go about the task with a quiet stoicism. And like many Japanese here, they believe the storms have been getting worse. Recently around here, there's been more rain, and the riverbank is just over there, so I've been worried. The river defences in this city are formidable, but even they couldn't hold back the torrent of water. All Japanese cities have in place elaborate plans for dealing with natural disasters, but these rains were so unprecedented it led to a surge of water that it seems took the local government as well as people here completely by surprise. Once this cleanup is over, city leaders will be asking how better to prepare for the next time. Hiroshi Ishizaki isn't sure he wants to face the next time. My feeling is I won't live here because something like this might happen again. Preparing for the future is never certain, made all the harder by apparently worsening weather. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kurashiki City, Japan.